In this video, I'm going to be looking at Cardano ADA price predictions for the year 2024 in anticipation of a highly anticipated bull run. Please note that this is not financial advice. You are advised to do your own research before deciding on investing your money. At the time of this recording, ADA is trading at about 59.7 cents with a market cap of about $20 billion. Cardano is one of the few scalability focused crypto projects that has truly solved some of blockchain technology's most basic issues. It shed new light on how it can be used and its network became the industry's first peer-reviewed chain. Its proof-of-stake system is one of a kind, and the blockchain is one of the most widely used projects. This creates a solid case for why its price trajectory can be pushed through higher in the future. Cardano began with a strong dislike for Bitcoin and Ethereum in particular. Long before Ethereum's transition into a proof-of-stake system, Cardano came out as one of the strongest Ethereum killers, maybe not in price, but in functionality. Cardano's founder, Charles Hoskinson, founded the project in 2017, two years after leaving a key position as co-founder of Ethereum. Yes, Charles Hoskinson was a co-founder of Ethereum until he left the firm due to a disagreement with the other co-founders. And that was how a network that is a worthy rival for Ethereum was born. The project sought to do significantly better than Ethereum network at everything. The first step was to remove the proof of work technique shared by Ethereum and Bitcoin in order to become the most viable platform for developing decentralized apps or dApps. It includes a multi-asset ledger and the platform allows you to develop smart contracts. It is based on Ouroboros consensus, a unique proof of stake consensus. Just like with Ethereum, they can create smart contracts. Cardano's developers are sure that it is a far superior version of Ethereum. And there's minimal debate because the project is a front runner among the third generation platforms that populate the cryptocurrency sector. Cardano also intends to give banking services to persons who do not have access to standard commercial bank services. Staking is one of the words you should be familiar with when it comes to Cardano's proof of stake consensus. The amount of stake that a node has on a blockchain determines whether it is authorized to open blocks on the chain. The stake is equal to the amount of ADA that a node holds for an extended period of time. It serves as collateral in the form of ADA pledged by each pool participant. Now, you cannot use or spend the locked stake during the period in which the coin is staked, since it is held as a measure of trust to verify the validator's honesty. By the way, people that pledge ADA receive benefits commensurate with their stakes, so this is not a thankless job. The multiple transaction fees are frequently used to produce the rewards, and when you pledge ADA tokens, you join a staking pool, which is a group of other ADA holders who also opt to stake their assets. You then work together to make protocol governance decisions, update the ledger, open new blocks, and share rewards. The introduction of smart contracts was one of the primary factors that contributed to Ethereum's popularity even before they switched to the POS consensus. Cardano did not include smart contracts in any of its revisions until the year 2021, and later that year, the Alonzo upgrade was implemented into the network bringing with it solid support for smart contracts. Many specialists in the cryptocurrency industry have testified to how much better Cardano would be if smart contracts were implemented. This contributes to Cardano's claim of being the most scalable project while also providing extra utility for the network. Cardano users could also construct and trade NFTs on Cardano's NFT marketplace. Further improvements will increase the project's efficiency, and we may see even more use cases for Cardano-based projects. Cardano remains the project with the most aggressive updates and each stage of development has been named in eras. The odd thing is that Cardano has not really reflected on its price action as much. Perhaps due to the market-wide bearish run that is just about coming to an end at this time. I recall that in 2021, the currency could not maintain its high price for long, and there was a sharp decrease in the value of the ADA token to around $2 market price, which subsequently fell further to around $1.20 market price due to some investors withdrawing their winnings acquired over time. However, there was a sharp spike back to around $1.50 in January 2022, but it did not stay long before it began a slow and continuous slide. 
dropping to 30 cents in December due to the big bear run that occurred in the crypto space that year. As a result, for the majority of 2023, the coin fluctuated between 30 cents and 50 cents. This outcome was a huge letdown for investors who expected the coin to hit $1 per coin. These predictions, however, have been carried forward to 2024 with a prospect of a market-wide bull run. With the market's present trend, we've begun to consider Cardano's future prospects. The chances of ADA reaching at least $1 in 2024 is not far-fetched, as that is around the time that many crypto experts anticipate the bull run to start. However, for ADA, it is the barest minimum expectation for the coin's performance. The project is entirely capable of driving its own price action to about a dollar from its current level of about 60 cents. Therefore, it is wrong to expect that a bull run will come and the most Cardano can achieve is a pump to one dollar. One of the reasons why the next bull run is expected to be quite massive is because the rate of crypto adoption has nearly tripled since the last bull run with thousands of people now becoming involved in the market for their own reasons. Therefore, we're looking at a market that could exceed five trillion dollars and that could result in what could be one of the largest bull runs the market has ever seen. When it begins, I expect that it could run far into 2025, and with a consistent growth between 2024 to 2025, Cardano may very well trade at as high as $10. And if buyer investments are large enough, we might see the coin pump to more than $20, setting a pretty high standard for future price performance. Some experts speculate that ADA could experience a remarkable surge to an amount around $5 within the next two years, which is not more than a 10x increase from its current valuation. This forecast is grounded in the analysis of specific parallels that can be drawn between the current sentiments around the crypto market, the bullish market trend expected to occur next year, and the potential upgrades to use cases of Cardano. This expert analysis may also arise from the possibility that Cardano may just be one of those utility coins whose price may not be subject to as much volatility based on the chain's development. The idea of the upcoming bull run within the year 2024 and 2025 has heightened the expectations that the above predicted price is only achievable for that cause, as we expect a huge turn up in the cryptocurrency ecosystem. However, it goes without saying that Cardano will not stop popping up with impressive initiatives to drive the adoption of cryptocurrencies. Cardano Foundation recently announced a collaboration with CV Labs to organize the Battle of the Builders. It's a project that encourages developers of all backgrounds and specialties to come up with innovative ways to build smart contracts and dApps that can have a real-world impact. As far as I can tell, this is a viable option, given that Cardano, well, capable of running all of these blockchain functions, did not lose scalability or speed. And as a result, it retains superior transaction finality as compared to Ethereum, and its transactions cost far less than Ethereum's gas fees. Also, the chain is starting to see the introduction of Main Street, a peer-to-peer -peer commerce application and point-of-sale system. It's a program that aims to merge some of Cardano's core applications with traditional transactional operations. Main Street is focused on enabling retail companies and service providers, including plumbers and barbers, to smoothly accept cryptocurrencies while making a sale while also obtaining the exact currency mix that they wish at the time of exchange. Now, in terms of decentralization, Cardano has taken a step further with increasing development of its fifth development phase, known as Voltaire, after the legendary French writer and orator. The Voltaire era signifies an implementation of an on-chain governance system, representing the culmination of efforts initiated with the introduction of CIP 1694. This pivotal phase promises to provide the last elements essential to transform the Cardano network into a self-sustained self-governing, open, and decentralized ecosystem, an effort that is currently ongoing. All these and many more are prime causes that I see the development of Cardano and a major shift towards making crypto available for day-to-day -day use and also bringing profit to investors all over the world. Regardless, now is the best time for you to buy a coin that could bring in some massive profits in the coming bull run.